Good afternoon. Hello, Paula. How are you? I'm fine, and I hope you're fine too. Very good as well. Um, do you have any presentation you wanted to um, uh, share with us? Yeah, I can. So I can share the screen with you. Yes, please. So uh, once you do it, uh, uh, the clock is on and the floor is yours. Yes. So now can you see my presentation? Yes, we do. So now the clock is on. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. So good afternoon. Firstly, I would like to thank you for the opportunity to participate in this wonderful scholarship. And now I will tell you something about myself. My name is Pola Kowalczyk and I'm a student of second grade in Hofmanowa High School in Warsaw, when, where I extend biology, chemistry and mathematics. I learn also English, German and Latin languages. Firstly, I would like to tell you about my science interests. I've been keen on science since the early preschool, but my first biggest achievement was uh, winning both biological and Polish language Olympiad at one year uh, at the end of the primary school. This year I represented my school at the regional stage of biology Olympiad. And as my extensions are biology and chemistry, I often work with the, in the lab or with the microscopes. I also attend various courses, such as mathematics for the curious one, where I could learn about sound synthesis uh, and some extracurricular or mathematical, let's say, um, material. Um, but the most important course for me was a biological data analyzing course where I could uh, learn about uh, how to use uh, various uh, crucial um, scientific equipment, such as, for instance, electron mi microscope, which is often used in the lab or, in um, or I could do those amazing photos on the slide. Uh, now I will tell you something about my social commitments. Uh, in the primary school, I was a member of Scout Troop Żubry. Later, in high school, I co-organized and co-founded Hofkółko Robutek Ręcznych. So that was a group of people from my school passionate about handicrafts. I also coordinated a society of people interested in reading books in my school. And recently, I had an opportunity to be an anchor of the interview. And that was the interview which was filmed for my school. And that was the first time when I could speak in front of the camera. And that was definitely something new for, for me. Uh, of course, I raise money for Vosh, which makes me jo um, which makes me happy. And I also um, prepare some handicrafts for auctions. Moreover, I attended short-term mobility in Finland, where I could um, work over some uh, projects in team with people from different countries and cultures. Um, I, uh, my graphic skills also come in handy, as I design a lot of graphics for my community. And music is also a very important part of my life. I play classical and bass guitar, piano and ukulele. I am also a bass player of the band Dandelion. And the biggest achievement of mine is uh, to play on Art Mokotu Festival. So me and my friend prepared a guitar duo for this festival. We opened the whole festival, so we were the first one to present our skills in front of over 100 people. So that was definitely something crucial for me. Speaking of sport, I hold 6Q in karate. I am also interested in mountain sports, such as snowboarding and climbing. In the future, I plan to study biotechnology to later work, work as a scientist because, because I just love uh, biology and contributing to the society. So uh, as a scientist, I could uh, develop some new therapies and invent maybe the, uh, the therapies for some serious diseases. Uh, later, I would like to share the know-how which I will gain uh, through working as a scientist with the younger generation, because I think it's important not only to gain the know-how, but also to share that later. And I would like to write a book because that's just my passion. Uh, I will gain through Queen Hedwig scholarship definitely experience and new interests. I will also meet amazing new people, um, global uh, leader of global companies. I will meet peers from the whole Poland and even the students um, of prominent universities in the US. Uh, that will definitely broaden my horizons and it will give me some guidelines. And I think my community will gain definitely the same as I will share everything that I gain I gained through Queen Hedwig scholarship because every day I 
um, I talk to a lot of people through my social commitment, uh, through my scientific co commitment. So uh, I think I can motivate uh, a lot of people to participate in the recruitment next year. So uh, thank you for your attention. And now I'll be pleasure to answer your questions. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Robert, would you like to start with uh, with, with your questions? Well, with all your activities, you are really titanic worker. Thank you very much for the presentation. It's it's very good to have such students as you here in Poland. Congratulations. And my question may be, may be a bit um, ordinary. What what's your way of uh, serving the people you have around? Just your family at home. Uh, what what do you do for others? So thank you for that question. So at home, of course, I have my duties, uh, but I also have a younger brother who is also keen on mathematics. So I sometimes help him with his homeworks, uh, even in mathematics or sometimes in Polish language, because as I told, I have a competition in Polish language. And um, sometimes he even comes to me and asks if I can, um, let's say, explain to him some extracurricular stuff in mathematics. And for example, that's why I explained to him trigonometry. And I think that that's also I would like to do that in the future, just to share the things that I like with some younger people. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And and the, the, the continuation of this question, what do you think is the, the overall aim of all your activities when you will just grow up and you will finish the studies? What, what's the aim of all of these things that you do now? So I think that the aim is to make my community happy and um, just because I think that's very important uh, for the other, uh, for me to just share my knowledge and my know-how, just to make people's life easier and make them happy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Robert. Um, <clears throat> let me well, let me kick off with my question. You you, you mentioned during your uh, I mean in, in your motivation letter as well that uh, you you. Uh, you, you programming. You, you took up the programming course. Yeah. Uh, how, how was it? Is your cup of tea taking into account your kind of social and biological profile? Um, do you plan to follow it up uh, somehow uh, as well? So thank you for that question. Um, I attended mathematical mathematics for the curious course mostly because of the music, and programming was just something additional, but. Uh, I think I am flexible and open for all the possibilities. Maybe uh, in the future it will be necessary for me, this ability to program. Uh, but um, yeah, that was uh, uh, definitely something new for me because um, in my everyday life I don't program. But on this course I could learn some basics and I think that will come in handy in my life. Yeah, if, if not the biologist, uh, who would you be in the future? Oh, so thank you for that question. So I think uh, in my um, presentation, I told about being an academic lecturer. So maybe that would be uh, a good way to follow because just uh, I like sharing my, pa uh, my passion and being passionate about uh, what I'm doing. And I think that it's also, even when you, uh, even when you think about Marius Kulowska kiri who was a scientist, but uh, but after that, she was also a academic lecturer. She, she raised a lot of people who later also contributed to the society. So I think that if I wouldn't be a scientist, I could be academic lecturer as well. Nice. Michal, your turn. Uh, okay, so just, just one question, Paul. Uh, what, uh, what is your biggest defeat so far? And uh, what uh, lesson have you learned uh, from that defeat? So that's a very good question. I think my biggest defeat was... Even two uh, questions, even two questions. Oh, yeah. So uh, my biggest defeat was when I didn't pass um, my biology Olympiad. So uh, I uh, had a defeat on the regional stage uh, this year. But I, I thought that I won't give up and I started attending various courses, uh, for instance, those on my presentation. So I focused on, uh, let's say, um, finding some courses and some ways to talk with the scientists. For instance, the Festival of Science or this uh, data visualizing course, which, are, which I mentioned. And I hope that will help me uh, next year to achieve success uh, on Biology Olympiad. 
Okay, let's keep on that. So you find this uh, this this exam, this uh, uh, this Olympiad, and uh, what was your feeling that uh, you said that uh, okay, I didn't uh, prepare it in the proper way. Oh, the the question is uh, was was stupid. The um, uh, the people who are engaged in this Olympiad uh, uh, are not nice. Uh, what was your feeling about it? Not mm-hmm. reaction, because reaction I heard about it. It was great, but what was your feeling about it? So I think maybe it was a bit sad, but I thought that I won't give up. And just because I'm the second grade, I, I have also the third grade, the fourth grade when I can try again. So I wasn't, let's say, terrified by that. And I also knew that uh, the other participants this year were very, let's say, good prepared. Uh, so the um the amount of po- points which was needed to pass was very high this year and i knew that i can uh, do this better this uh, do uh, biology olympiads better next year so i just have two two chances so that was a defeat but i can try again thank you, thank you. okay um thank you Michal. uh robert would you like to share your thoughts about uh Paula's presentation Thank you, Bolon. That that was, as I told, very impressive, and I'm really wishing very well, good luck with all these projects. I'm I'm wondering whether it's uh, it's not a bit too much, <laughs> because that's that's very good to to have such wide uh, interest in everything that's happening, and and you are quite successful in everything that you touch, probably. So that's the the good way um, uh, you work and study and plan your time, and also you have some uh, activities like helping your brothers and at home. So maybe maybe just to think about just limiting a bit of these activities and uh, taking more relax or something that helps you just to mm, be more open for other experiences not only intellectual not only social maybe others but thank you very much for that and uh, just keep your fingers for thank you. success thanks for work Niho. Oh, the presentation was great, and uh, you also answered uh, in a very good way in, for for our questions. Uh, I I have uh, just uh, one one thought. Uh, it's, it's really impressive what you to do. Uh, and you you do many many things, uh, and uh, you mentioned that uh, you want to make people happy several times. And uh, just just one uh, uh, thought that uh, uh, people won't be happy working with you if you won't be happy. So thinking about happiness of others, uh, think first about your happiness. So just one thought. So uh, that's it. And uh, uh, it was very good. So thank you. Thank you. Well, what I can say, the woman of Renaissance, I think, right? Uh, so, so many passions, so many directions. Uh, this is very impressive. It was really nice to listen to you, Paula. It was very natural, uh, nice pace, um, uh, interesting things you, you wanted to share. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm really ha- happy about that. And, and especially taking into account that you're in the second grade. So um, the, the, the full package was quite, uh, quite positive and nice. So... As, as Robert said, keep the fingers crossed and, and, and good luck in, in, the, in, the, in, in this kind of co- competition. And uh, I hope you, you, you will see yourself in, in, the, in, in the plane to, uh, to Silicon Valley. Thank you. So thank you for creating such an amazing project. And um, I think that's um, goodbye. And yeah. Yes, thank you very much. Good afternoon.